So we've talked about already the fundamentals, we've talked about the basics, we've talked about getting into session, presence in session, uh, and the idea of processing command lines, uh, PCL, and have uh, v introduced various objective processes and then of course introduced subjective processing and uh, with some uh, basic example of, for example, a PCL, the one involving fruit and stuff. So to move on into a little bit more to illustrate application and the proper running of subjective processing, we'll begin with a few light examples that are, that are real processes, unlike what we were demonstrating before with the fruit. And we talked about alternating attention uh, in a previous lecture. And in most cases, the PCL are going to be alternated. Uh, in, in subjective processing and so in uh, many of the situations they're actually labeled A and B and, as opposed to just you know a list of, of various uh, commands uh, for example when we were talking about the wall you know look at that wall go over to it there's a system of a sequence of commands which were run in a cycle in this case we're interested in in alternating uh, and so these are, uh, and you can log them in, you know, by this point you should be using a flight journal, a uh, flight log of some point, of some type, and you can put uh, in recording, recording the, uh, you know, recording the processes that you're using in your session, you record them A and B, and then you can also list off your, your answers uh, within that. This is particularly of importance if you're doing this again, uh, you know, with our intention trying to direct solo, solo pilots and whatnot. Uh, and there, there she is again trying to get back at her. <laughs> hi, well, hi. Okay, so, so the two in this example is think of something. So the, the APCL, think of something you wouldn't mind remembering. And then of course, don't forget we were, we were trying to basically affix this to our, our concept of how the PCL is, is being directed. So, you know, think of something you wouldn't mind remembering is the direct PCL. And then to that you could attach, you know, what is it? And then giving, you know, your answer for that. And then think of something you wouldn't mind forgetting is the B PCL and then again it would be you know answered from the perspective that the PCL is is asking you know what is it and and when we say alternating we're not just saying that well there's there's two PCL listed we mean very specifically that uh, in processing that these are meant to be alternated so you know we're going you know from this one to this one and and back and forth as as an alternation and systematically this is much more effective than simply uh, drilling on one consideration repeatedly uh, a process is already essentially run in repetition but doing this uh, with subjective processing uh, you know alternating will allow you to kind of realign your focus and avoid getting spun in or off track or, or some additional uh, cycle of thought you know being turned on so um, there's also some subjective processes uh, along the pathway where you you're simply keeping you know a list or you just kind of keep listing answers from one PCL until one seems right but that's that's really only used when we're scouting around for a specific answer and not not you know unraveling a whole chain of considerations. So that that type of work we'll be treating later on uh, in the professional course series. So uh, in running out our our present example, uh, you might find that the answers don't immediately present themselves, but eventually they do. And at one point it you know perhaps happens quite quickly. So um, you know, you have to be kind of practicing and getting them down. Uh, this is why co-piloting, things began using traditional co-piloting because it was much easier for an individual to remain focused and just kind of communicate things with 
uh, an experienced practitioner that was responsible for recording everything but in this case you would just uh, you know keep your you know redirecting back to the PCL and not getting too caught up in you know, the information that you're listening down because you're gonna have to do that all at once but there's gonna be a point when new answers just don't seem to be occurring and then suddenly the process seems more difficult and the the uh, you know, realization or improvement will usually come by pushing through this at least once and looking a bit uh, deeper to see if there's something else. And uh, another example, if we're talking about alternating PCL, would be uh, what is something you agree with, would be the APCL, versus some what is something you disagree with. And, uh, you know, a lot of times what we call frag, uh, you know, defragmentation when we're using subjective processing for defragmentation it really what we're, what we're essentially doing is freeing up considerations that uh, would may otherwise be rigidly fixed in place uh, and previously in the lesson on the the previous chart you know we talked about uh, you know a stuck flow and and this is something where you know an energy pattern or a flow or we talk about energy and communication uh, you know in terms of a flow uh, it's it's a fixed wave pattern it's a fixed flow and this is what actually accumulates as as the ridges as the rigid solidity of fragmentation that obscures our our, our clear clear self honest vision so the systematic solution to this of course is to practice alternation. We talked about the uh, you know the example before of exaggerating a condition uh, to get it under control uh, you know rather than just trying to force stop it. Uh, in this way we're talking about uh, alternating on and off of uh, a particular focus, um, giving it giving it our, our full attention and then rather than trying to keep that full presence just inherently pressed upon it, we take it off selectively and direct it to another PCL and uh, so that's that's just the, another example um, and in the example of like agree and disagree uh, you know we run conceptual examples and considerations uh, on something like uh, like an object you can use it on um, where we decide something is important and decide something is unimportant see in this case we're going to be doing exercises that uh, are about uh, personal ability and so forth, and um, doing that, uh, it, we're we're not really concerned with you know a something uh, for the for the specific process. We're concerned with how, for example, the the seeker ultimately feels about it, and so you know being able to decide something is important we, we were talking about uh, emotion uh, earlier in the lesson here we're talking about you know our thoughts and the ability to actually decide something is important versus deciding something is unimportant and being able to alternate between those two and not just in passing fancy but to actually to actually consider that we're actually making ourselves to actually decide that we're going to uh, think that something is either important or not and again we're not we're not ultimately concerned with what the individual is is thinking about we're not trying to uh, either be nihilistic and say that you know nothing is important or materialistic and you know everything tangible is important all we're trying to do with these alternating exercises is free up that kind of fixed pattern that fixed flow that is taking place and so so um, another example, and this is good because this helps to illustrate. Now we we you know alternating usually we consider it between two particular things. But in this case. Um, when you're looking in your material in the pathway to ascension material you're gonna find several times that there's uh, several uh, things in sequence that are meant to be run as a complete cycle and so 
although they're still considered alternating, there's no reason to, uh, you know, work into any particular strange sequence. You would simply, uh, in this case, run A through D and then, you know, back up to the top again, A through D. And a lot of times you'll see that referred to as a cycle uh, just to show that there's multiple steps that are meant to be run uh, cyclically over and over again. It's still a form of alternating PCL, but again, in terminolo for terminology purposes, most of the time with alternating PCLs or alternating attention, we're talking about two particular things and going between two particular things. Um, but um, the idea here, too, is that uh, these are meant to be hit upon and then moved on to the next, the next, to the next. Uh, rather than sitting at, for example, PCLA and just continuing to list and hone in on it, you're meant to kind of go from one to the other. So in the final example here, um, you'll, uh, the, for each PCL, you'll think about something and then list what it is. Again, we're practicing the what is and the it is kind of Q&A PCL and response uh, here. And uh, the, the answers here, they're not as important as the actual practice of maintaining uh, self-determined control over your thoughts. And so what we end up using, remember in, our, in the basic course, we kind of defined what we're treating with systemology with the word system. So S, Y, and then... So the PCL is think about space, think about time, think about energy, think about matter, and then it would go back to think about space. So it's uh, being able to, and, and you can use this as a listing exercise in terms of adding to, you know, each time just basically thinking about it and noting your immediate, uh, you know, impressions or thoughts about it and then moving to the next one. Not necessarily, well, this isn't a meditation of any kind of, now let's think and you know, meditate on space for 15 minutes. This is literally uh, an exercise in basically self-determining control over thoughts. It's also... Uh, and you know an exercise that actually has applications up in you know in the advanced levels with you know theory we won't even bother getting into at this point but um, and you know and so when you're doing this again using the examples of how we've been been treating this you know you would be, you know think about space what is it and you know what is it is not inherently a part of the PCL but the you know it is is would be you know and then you just kind of give your answer and again these are these are treated in parentheses so this isn't this isn't necessarily the actual pattern in which you would direct this but it's it's good to get into this uh, into this concept we get into this a lot more in the, you know what we used to call flight training or the flight academy um, because it's it's an important part of the communication cycle that's necessary for co-piloting for traditional piloting two-person uh, processing uh, for it to actually be effective it is it is just as important uh, when a solo pilot is is practicing their their sessions uh, it's just that most of the communication isn't isn't uh, verbally spoken uh, when you're working solo, so it's about recording it and and getting that kind of communication flow and acknowledgement through the the recording of of the data. The Joshua Free Imprint, JFI Publications, in conjunction with Mardukai Academy and the Systemology Society, present the single greatest breakthrough of the 21st century for all humanity: the perfection of a new standard systemology a complete map for the way out 
from the bottom to the top, and your key to being an Ascended Master in this lifetime. Everything you need is contained in three progressive self-guiding courses, the Fundamentals of Systemology Basic Course, the Pathway to Ascension Professional Course, and the Keys to the Kingdom Advanced Training Course. And each should be studied and applied in their intended sequence and order, as displayed in this video. All three courses combined are available as five standard hardcover volumes, but also as 33 installments, since each single course lesson is also available individually as a pocket-sized manual. The Fundamentals of Systemology Basic Course includes Being More Than Human, Realities in Agreement, Windows to Experience, Ancient Systemology, a history of systemology, and systemology processing. The Pathway to Ascension Professional course, including processing levels 0 through 6, includes in Volume 1, Increasing Awareness, Thought and Emotion, Clear Communication, Handling Humanity, Free Your Spirit, Escaping Spirit Traps, Eliminating Barriers, and Conquest of Illusion. The Pathway to Ascension, Volume 2, includes Confronting the Past, Lifting the Veils, Spiritual Implants, Games and Universes, Spiritual Energy, Spiritual Machinery, The Arcs of Infinity, and Alpha Thought. The Keys to the Kingdom AT Advanced Training Course for Processing Level 7, in Volume 1, includes the Secret of Universes, the Game's Goals and Purposes, the Jewel of Knowledge, Implanted Universes, and the Supplementals, Systemology Biofeedback, and Systemology Procedures. The Keys to the Kingdom, AT Advanced Training Course for Processing Level 8 in Volume 2 includes Entities and Fragments, Spiritual Perception, Mastering Ascension, Advancing Systemology, and the AT Supplement, Systemology Piloting. All titles are available from your favorite bookseller. Explore new standard systemology today, and may you never be the same.